Hi everyone, again I have another project share. Here I created another mini album using um, craft envelopes. So that's my thing right now, I'm doing a whole bunch of envelopes mini album. And the envelope itself measures at uh, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. And here again with the same method of binding with the seam, um, um, seam binding technique in my other previous videos. And just a little embellishment here. I love this paper because when you purchase those um, paper stack, there's so many in there. So you want to go ahead and just use it fully making cards, albums, treat holders, anything. Because then next year you want a different theme, a different pattern. So you want to use whatever you have in your stash. So that's what I did here. So let's start again. Let's begin with this album. So the inserts also measure at um, seven by four and three quarter. And I use 10 of those because front and back. I'm sorry, I used five of those and then 10 designer papers that measured seven by four and three quarter. So as you can see, and then here's the insert, just use the cardstock, use my Fisker's punch on the edge here to give it that look. And just a little trim here as well um, that I had some from scraps from cutting. Again, with the sentiments, just use a dimensional um, tape on the backing of this. Um, the cover of the paper collection had this little, almost like a sturdy hard cover, and it had pictures of all the uh, designer papers in there. So they were like little square rectangles, and I just cut them diagonal, and that's what I did to create these little tucks. So basically you can tuck in things in here and their picture corners, I mean, you know, you can tuck or you know use them as whatever you like to do with your album. Here again, I use the um, mini CD, um, um, they call it pouch, but like envelope. And this one I got at Amazon and it was for 100 um, CD pouches on there. And it measures four and seven eight by four and seven eight. Uh, I use one of the dies that I purchased from Amazon and it just has a little shakers in there. I think it's so cute. And here you can put some more pictures in the back. So it's really, really cute. And again, with the photo corners on the edges, some more of the sentiment for festive, lots and lots of room for pictures and journaling here. And then as my layouts, as you could see, I didn't make it too bulky. Just want it to be where we develop the pictures and then and just incorporate it in the album. So it's really simple. Then you can go ahead and come back with some more embellishments if you want. But I just think that's the easiest way for me to do these, especially if you are planning to do a lot of, um, you know, um, albums as well as um, gifting or using them for your craft fair. So again, I just thought this is so cute. It says gingerbread, some more journaling and photo mats inside. And it's really, really simple. Um, so yeah, so I got this, I think it was from, um, oh yeah, it was one of those gift card tags and I just took it out and adhered it here with a uh, super glue. So I just think this is just a perfect gift or for yourself to put pictures in, to journal, you know. Um, you can come back in the front here and even put the year of 2020 if you want or, you know, making it happen, you know, 2020, and just a lot of um, different ways you can um, title your um, album. But yes, that's my share for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.